Did you know that 33% of the total French population speaks two different languages? What about here in America? Only 21% of all Americans are bilingual. However, in the world, around 43% of the total population speaks two different languages. Just think about it for a second. Almost half of the world's population speak is bilingual. But there is a huge difference between bilingualism and biculturalism, and that's what we want to talk about today. First of all, what is biculturalism? Biculturalism means belonging to two different cultures. Culture consists of the music, art, language, politics, tradition, and a lot more. Some people confuse being bicultural and bilingual, but in fact they're completely different things. Some people often forget that bilingualism, biliteracy, and biculturalism are all different things. See, bilingualism means that you learn to speak two different languages. Biliteracy means you learn to read and write in two different languages, while biculturalism means you learn to speak, read, write, and think in two different languages. Being bilingual is therefore different than being bicultural. In what way does being bicultural mean you belong to multiple cultures? Being bicultural allows one to see, experience, and understand two different views of the world. It makes you realize that there are many different approaches to life and ways to see or think about what is meaningful or valuable. An example is how people dress. In France, people tend to dress more formally, especially in public. For example, it would be sometimes considered inappropriate to wear casual clothing to work, school, or a nice restaurant. You're expected to dress in a manner that shows respect for the social setting in which you find yourself in. In the U.S., however, people tend to dress more casually, with an emphasis on comfort and practicality over formality. As a bicultural person, I understand and appreciate both approaches and adapt according to the environment without passing judgment on either norm. Being bicultural also has many benefits. It helps us not to stereotype, judge, or view the world through a single lens. It makes us realize that there is no right way or better way in doing certain things. Each culture had different ways of doing different things for different reasons, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. It prepares us to be more open to, accepting, and understanding of the many cultures that exist in our world, and to celebrate these differences rather than judge or reject them. So being bicultural can help with a more appropriate response to social cues and a better understanding of how to fit into a community. How could we become bicultural? Janie Newman, who runs a bilingual design shop company, researched and found three possible characteristics. The first possible way is living for an extensive period of time in a different culture, which would be me. I come from France, and I've lived here for seven years. The second possible way is live, uh, having parents from one culture, however, living in a different culture, which again would be me. And the third possible way is living, working, or studying with someone from a total different culture and embracing this as one of yours as well, which again would be me. <laughs> so, in conclusion, you could just become bicultural in just seven years. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> there have been times when choosing one primary culture has been challenging. Am I more American or am I more French? Do I feel more at ease in one culture than the other? Does one feel more natural than the other? Personally, I'll consider myself slightly more American, probably because I've lived most of my life here. Indeed, there have been times in the past where I said to myself, I'll be completely American and keep the French part of me to the side. But now that I've grown up a bit more, I've started to appreciate the fact that I'm not only bilingual, but I'm also bicultural. I've seen America's globally dominant perspective, but I've also seen the French side of things. Rather than feel pressure or anxiety, about the need to choose one cultural identity, biculturalism embraces the ability to live in multicultural worlds without needing to choose one over the other. This is, to me, the magic of biculturalism. There are countries today, like France, who are trying to protect their cultural identity in fear that multiculturalism has become a problem. I believe that does not work. The world needs differences. Why wouldn't we want to live as multicultural nations who can peacefully live together? Some may be scared of another culture replacing their own, and they reject the culture because it doesn't have the same religions or values. Since fear and, the, and, and ignorance is the reason, that is precisely why we need to stay curious and understand with each other. 
I know that there will always be some people that want to privilege and preserve their culture, and that is totally fine, as long as you know that we are becoming more and more globally interdependent, and we need to find ways to understand and share with each other. When you, we believe that when you are bicultural, you can then make this world a better place. This is how we can all belong in the world. Thank you. Thank you.